Our optics can be manufactured with different angular units of measure. So the value when we're actually manipulating the elevation or windage turret, they can be in several different units of measure. One of them is minute of angle and the other is milliradian. So we're gonna talk about the differences between these two angular units of measure and which one might be best for you based on what you're trying to do. At the end of the day, they're both just angular units of measure and every increment means a certain value. So we'll start off with minute of angle. So if I get an optic manufactured in minute of angle, essentially how that breaks down is when I dial one minute on elevation or windage, that is going to be about one inch at 100 yards. It's 1.047 inches exactly. Now that's an angular unit and measure. So with that one minute dialed on my optic, yes, that's one inch at 100 yards, but if I'm now shooting at a target at 200 yards, the value of that is different. So that's gonna to equate to about two inches at 200 yards. That same one minute deviation at 100 is one inch, at 200 is two inches, 300, three inches, and so on. Obviously, those are just bold adjustments. If I want to find the exact measurement, I would take that 1.047 inches at 100 yards and multiply it by the range in hundredths to come up with the true minute of angle. So that's how minute of angle breaks down. Let's switch gears here for a second and go to milliradian or MRAD. So MRAD is derived from a base 10 system. So Common increments that we see this in is 10th of a mil adjustments. So when we make a click on our elevation or windage turret, that's gonna be about 10th of a mil adjustment, that one click. And what that equates to is about 0.36 inches at 100 yards. So a 10th of a mil is 0.36 inches at 100 yards. Now, if I were to dial an entire mil, so that would be about 10 clicks, that's gonna be 3.6 inches at 100 yards. So I need to understand how these unit, units of measure break down and how I'm applying them and engaging these targets at distance. So again, these are angular units of measure. So if I take that same deviation, that 10th of a mil adjustment, that was 0.36 inches at 100 yards, and I push out to 200 yards, now I'm at 0.72 inches. If I push out to 300 yards, that's 1.08 inches. So it's again, an angular unit of measure that gets greater with distance. So some benefits to each of these, it, at the end of the day, as I said before, they're just angular units of measure. However, I think some people's minds work best in different angular units of measure. So for me, the way I digest information and the way I think is healthy for you to think about these units is to think about how you're actually gonna be applying them on the range. So if I were, was your shooting partner and I ask you to dial 3.5 mils up in elevation, yes, I can look at my elevation turret and I can dial 3.5 mils up, just look at the numbers and then I'm there. Or I can go from zero and I can count out 35 clicks with the 10th of a mil adjustments on, my, on this particular scope. So the base 10 system, I feel like for me, is a little bit easier to mentally digest. Now, if we go back to that minute of angle optic, say we have an optic that's manufactured in minute of angle, usually how those are graduated, those turrets are graduated in about a quarter minute adjustment. So for every click that you dial on the optic, that's about a quarter minute. So we remember from before, a full minute is about an inch at 100 yards. A quarter minute is about a quarter inch at 100 yards. Now, when I take that increment and I dial out to distance, I have to remember that I'm working in fractions. So again, if I'm your shooting partner and I ask you to dial up 10 and a half minutes and you have the quarter minute adjustments on this scope, then you have to do some math on the front end and think about how many clicks that is. A lot of times as long range shooters, we like to keep our position consistent. We like to keep our head on the gun and not pop it off to take a look at the elevation turret to see what number we're actually at. Again, with the minute of angle optics, you can just dial up to 10 and a half minutes, take a look at the numbers that indicate where you're at in your elevation, and you can do it that way as well. However, if we wanna stay consistent on the gun, keep our head on the gun, 
we're going to have to count out those clicks. We're going to have to do a little bit of math to figure out how many clicks is 10 and a half minutes. So the advantage to a base 10 system for me is obvious, but I think also there's benefit for you to mentally thinking about how you digest this information and what unit of measure might work better for you. So that's a very basic overview of minute of angle and milliradian. Just kind of think about these concepts, think about which ones might work better for you and that you can mentally digest. At the end of the day, when we put our information into the ballistic software, it's gonna tell us what elevation we need to dial our turret to. So a lot of the heavy lifting math on the front end is already done for us and we simply need to dial our elevation to the correct amount.